Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to share with you another weekly grocery haul. Everything you see here I spent $89 on. And of course I used the Walmart grocery pickup, which was super great because it's raining today. So it was nice to not have to get out of the car and, and you know do all that. Um, of course, like always, I'm gonna leave a link down below. You can get $10 off your first order if you have not tried them yet, which again, you've gotta try it. Um, so I'm just gonna go, actually, let me show you our meal plan for the week and then I'll show you the groceries. Okay, so here is the meal plan for the week. Starting off on Wednesday, which is tonight, we're gonna have grilled chicken sandwiches. So I have some uh, grilled chicken in the freezer from Zacon Fresh and then the bread that I got at uh, Costco. So I didn't have to buy any of that. Uh, also tomorrow we're gonna have quinoa taco night. So I'm gonna make um, the quinoa beef and then the uh, cilantro lime rice and that way everyone can just kind of make, they want to make a taco or a burrito bowl or whatever. They can just kind of do whatever they want. Friday is going to be mini corn dogs with fruit. I picked up some mini corn dogs a few days ago when I ran to um, Walmart to get Connor some socks for baseball. So I didn't have to buy those today. Um, also Saturday we're going to have coconut chicken tenders, which I was supposed to make last week, but they forgot to put my pinko breadcrumbs in my um, grocery, um, you know, uh, order. So I move that to this week. Sunday we're gonna have baked potatoes with brisket, but it's gonna be potato baked because they didn't have any baked potatoes uh, today at the store. And then uh, Monday is gonna be buffalo chicken lettuce wraps, just a recipe I found on Pinterest. And then Tuesday is gonna be grilled chicken uh, or grilled cheeseburgers. And then Wednesday I go to the store. Starting off over here, I got some bacon. Uh, I'm gonna use some of this for a potato bake and then uh, some of it for like breakfast one morning. Also got some Jack Daniels beef brisket. Now this was a little pricey. It was about nine dollars a little bit of a splurge but matt really wanted it uh with his uh potatoes so we got this for a dinner one night also got some more eggs just 18 large eggs we use these for breakfast obviously and then like dessert sometimes uh, whenever we do dessert sunday and also got some quinoa now this is for a recipe that i actually saw jen ross do which is quinoa taco um it's kind of like a imitation beef um, so I got this and I'm really excited to try that and also for the buffalo chicken lettuce wraps um, It calls for quinoa as well. So I got a, bo um, a bag of that Also got some cheese some medium cheddar cheese some Monterey Jack cheese and some pro provolone cheese The provolone cheese is for the grilled chicken sandwiches Monterey Jack cheese is for the tacos and the medium cheddar cheese is for the um, baked potato bake. I was gonna do baked potatoes, but they didn't have the baked potatoes, which I'll show you that substitute in a second. Um, also got some more turkey. Last time I only got uh, nine ounces of turkey meat, which I don't know what I was thinking because we went through that in like three days. So I got um, a pound of turkey for sandwiches. Also got some rice. So I did have on my grocery pickup uh, the cauliflower rice. I really wanted to try that, but they were out. So I did have to go inside and get uh, just some regular rice, which is fine. Uh, but I have been wanting to try the cauliflower rice. Um, but again, just got some regular ones. So that was not necessarily a substitute. They just took it off my order. Um, so yeah, so got that. Also got some white corn tortillas. This is for um, the taco night that we're gonna have with the, the quinoa taco bake. Also got some uh, strawberries, two pounds of strawberries, as well as some avocados. And then I wanted to try these cookies. So chunky chippers and then the chewy chippers. It's just their imitation brand of, I don't even know if it's Chips Ahoy or Keebler or what it is. Um, but I have been eyeing these cookies for a while just to have, you know, some cookies throughout the week. Also got some more bananas. We always need bananas. And then, so again, this is a substitute. I wanted baked potatoes, but they were totally out. So they gave me a whole bunch of red potatoes. So I guess instead of baked potatoes, I'll just do kind of like a baked potato like casserole maybe and just use the red potatoes for that and whatever's left I'll just uh, make into some freezer mashed potatoes which is fine um, also got some cilantro that is for the cilantro lime rice uh, that I'm gonna make with the quinoa tacos and then some lettuce for the buffalo uh, lettuce wraps more uh, yogurt for the twins they really love this organic uh, yo baby especially the apple one I've noticed because at the very bottom there's some uh, cinnamon and they just as soon as I get to the bottom I kind of mix it up a little bit they really love that uh, also got some onion rings that's for the grilled cheeseburgers and then I got a huge box of these uh, whole grain waffles I was getting the smaller ones but we were going through those like seriously uh, two or three days um, so I went ahead and got the big box because the twins eat these, Connor eats these, I eat them. Um, I really like to have um, just a, a waffle in the morning with some strawberries like this. Makes for a really good quick breakfast. Also got some sour cream for the baked potatoes. 
and some cream cheese, uh, the spreadable kind for, um, we still have some bagels left over from last week. So I did get the great value cream cheese, but Matt didn't like it. So uh, I got the Philadelphia one, which I can understand because I'm kind of picky about cream cheese also. Uh, Philadelphia cream cheese is just so great. So this was a dollar more than the great value brand. Um, he didn't like the other one. He said it was just too runny and I don't know. So I got the Philadelphia one. Again, I can't really argue because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of the same way with uh, cream cheese. Also got two bags of chips for sandwiches this week. We really love this Mesquite barbecue. You guys have got to try the great value kind. I could, I'm not much of like a chip person, but I could seriously sit here and eat this entire bag. They're so good. Um, also got some more coffee. Probably next month I'll get the big box of coffee that'll last for months and months. It's like 96 little K cups for I think like $25 and it'll just last us for weeks. Um, but just to not go over budget too much this month, I just decided to get two small uh, donut shop coffee K cups. Also got some more vegetable oil and then some applesauce. I mentioned that I'm not going to make the twins' applesauce anymore just because it's just so much easier just to buy it in the jug. So I went ahead and got that. I do want to pick up the organic kind from Costco next time though, just for the record. Um, also got some more coffee creamer. I really have been enjoying this chocolate caramel from Great Value. Oh, you guys, Great Value everything, seriously. Um, got some marinara sauce. This is for the grilled chicken sandwiches because we like to dip the sandwiches and marinara sauce. It's amazing. Also got some more wing sauce. I was totally out. That's for the buffalo chicken um, wraps. Some panko breadcrumbs. This is for the panko coconut uh, chicken tenders as well as the wraps. And then I got some nutritional yeast. So this is for the quinoa beef taco mix. Um, it called for a tablespoon of nutri nutritional yeast, which I've never tried that before. So I'm excited to uh, see what that's about. And then some vegetable oil that is for the quinoa um, tacos and also got some apples and then I think that's it. So let me make sure I didn't miss anything. No, okay, so that's everything I got. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.